Okay, we have a problem called design RP data view. Um, basically, when you highlight a text in anywhere in the in, in PDF or even a web page, there is a rectangle that appears around it. And in this question, they tell you to calculate the the area of this rectangle. And it's basically you get um, yeah, and, and how to calculate it? They uh, each character in the selected word had uh, has a height, a height. They will give you the height for each character. And um, you get the maximum height and just multiply, multiply it by the length of the, of the word. This is how you get the area of the rectangle. Um, and this is how the, Im the input will look like. So they always will give you an array of heights of the 26 characters of the English alphabet, uh, all small. So, th so for in this example, the word is ABC, and this is the array of heights. One, uh, the index 0, which is 1, represents the A. And three, which is index two, represents B, and one uh, represents C, which is index two. So the maximum height is B, which is which is three. Multiply it by the length of the string, which is nine. And here this th the same example. So yeah, I, I think here A, B. So the length of the word is four, and Z is seven. So seven times four, which is twenty-eight. Uh, here it is. So uh, I think I think there is a, a lot of ways to solve it, but I will show you. Uh, a way. Oh, let me just. <laughs> uh, I will show you. I think a way that is interesting. So first thing, uh, from the array of length, I will just map it to an object that each index represents the alpha an an um, an English alphabet character, and the value will be how the height of it. So how I'll do that? First thing, I will create uh, an object called object. So just an empty object, which will hold. It just behaves like a map. You can make it a map, by the way. I will, I will just yeah. I will convert it to a map to, to show you. Uh, first thing I will make. So I will start from the A uh, character. So get get char code at. This is this is get, so each character in JavaScript is represented by an integer. So this is how we get it. And this is the end, which is Z. And I will loop. Uh, I don't have starting. I have only the, con the stopping condition. So J and I plus a plus. And for each each time, I need to. Uh, so I'm it's just like I am looping from. Uh, let me call this. One second. Uh, so I is 97 and J is 122 so this is uh, this is the loop I'm looping from 97 and 122 and for each integer I need to get the, the value of the string that it represents um, let me delete this and this so for it, now in, inside the loop uh, I will set inside the object so string dot from character code uh, the i will be equal to the h the height array from i since we are starting at 97 i need to map so 97 in our character object represents the index 0 so i minus 97 and now if i log the object so a have a height of 1 b the, has a height of 3 c 1 and so on and this is the first example, by the way. I just uh, run it here. Um, and this is the word here. So, yeah, this is how you map uh, this array of heights to an object that represents that the key is the height of the array, it's the character, and the value is the height. Uh, okay. Uh, we can convert it to, object, to map. So, map, equal new map, which I think this is what we will use in other, in other languages. And map.set I think uh, .set one second I'm map.set this and the value is this one so yeah uh, so b is 3 I, I can't just show you so get b you can call it b so b has the length of um, 
B have the length of 3 and A have the length of 1 and C have the length of 1 as well and 4 should be uh, sorry D should be 4 sh should be 3 which is this one here and so, so this is D E F so F is 4 yeah so our map mapping character mapping the height to each uh, character is working fine so what I need to do next is to find the maximum uh, height in our world to do this I would create a variable called max and just uh, the word this is what called so word to split I will split by int string which will give us an array of characters so I will reduce it starting from uh, default value 0 and this is the previous value I will call it accumulator and the current value so if the if map dot get the current is bigger than the accumulator just return the map dot get dot get the current else return the accumulator which is which means the previous element has a bigger height um, and and then just return max times the word dot length so z is 9 which is correct in this case and I won't convert this I think it's the same ar array of heights so let, let's just try to pass this I'm not sure but so yeah it's the same array of heights and the word is uh, Zaba and the length is 28 um, yeah I think that's it it's really simple simple uh, simple question I hope I explained it correctly I hope so it's here. Oh, let me run it first and then submit it. Just to make sure I yeah I didn't type anything bad. Uh, I didn't look into the discussion for this question. Uh, this is uh, so I, I will just look into it now to see more solutions. Maybe there is something without map. Or something without just map, without the map that structure, or something without mapping the values to an array. To an so each height, each uh, character represents a height without doing this kind of thing. So yeah, anyway.